final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain. Allumage EAP. Décollage. So, right on time at 18.38 local and uh, right on target. Ariane uh, began her mission. You saw her come roaring up over the, uh, over the ground here in French Guiana. Fine shots, always impressive for people at the observation sites around the base or in their cars, around the beaches. 774, 774 tons. GDO says everything normal on board. 774 tons at liftoff as Ariane leaves the ground. That's her mass. She's burning five tons of fuel per second. That's 2.5 tons in each booster. And the core stage, burning another 300 kilos per second. She's following the program now on the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we will soon see. We're in the first of four flight phases. All is normal, she uh, says, the DDO. The first three uh, flight phases are powered. The last is not. We'll describe each in turn and in detail so you can follow Ariane as she heads across the Atlantic, where she'll separate the two satellites once she gets over Africa and beyond. Right now, the first flight phase, the single Vulcan core stage engine and the two boosters are burning. The boosters will burn uh, for just over two minutes each, another 20, 30 seconds roughly. They are the first to be extinguished. You'll hear the DDO call out that milestone. The three powered flight phases, if you're anticipating, are right now the main engine with the boosters, then the main engine alone, then the upper stage. Then we have a final flight phase, which is not powered, and we'll get back to that when it happens. Fine shots as Arian leaving a trail of gold. And they're right on time is the separation of the boosters at about uh, 69 kilometers up. You can see them there flaming out. They're on either side of there. There's one point of light in the middle. That's the main engine burning. And the two boosters with the vapor trails are going to fall back 500 kilometers roughly from shore. Before the boosters are empty, their push diminishes and the onboard computer senses this drop in acceleration and decides to separate them and that occurs one second after the computer has detected this speed loss. Coming up next will be the fairing separation, but before that on the upper left of your screen you see the cursor crawling up to SEPCOF. I don't know if you can read SEPCOF. That's separation of the fairing. There are two lines there. One is the nominal trajectory, one is the actual trajectory. As, as long as they're one on top of the other, we're right where we should be. And we've had confirmation of the fairing separation, which occurred right uh, as it should be. On the bottom left, look at the bottom two lines. A is your altitude, 120 kilometers. V, the velocity of the speed, 2.32 kilometers per second. This is a shot of what uh, happens with the fairing separation. There's another half on the other side.